All right, guys, what is going on? So, uh, I haven't done a video in a while, and I'm gonna be posting some more things coming up, but uh, I have a problem with the car. And it's a problem that I knew I was gonna have, and I didn't fix it the last time, because I wanted to do a little bit more reading up on it. So, the problems came back, and it came back in full force, and I wanted to kind of show everybody uh, what lip mode looks like. So if you've never seen lip mode on a car, this is the first time I've experienced lip mode, um, like serious lip mode. I've had the car say reduce power, but it never like uh, did like what it's doing right now, because obviously the gears, the throttle actuators have crapped out on bank two. So not a big deal, I have the gears. So uh, in a garage, the Monkey, uh, the monkey Wrench Auto Sports has been kind enough to let me use a garage, so I'm gonna be doing that this weekend. But I wanted to give you, uh, uh, show you what the codes were, show you what everything's going on with the car. I mean, it's still driving it. I can only drive it 20 miles per hour because I'm, I just went on lunch and this is when it all happened. So I gotta get back to work, and then I gotta get 30 miles back home. So, but here we go. This is what it looks like, and it's not pretty. Okay, so, Sorry for the bad quality here. I'm, I'm like at a gas station, I just had to get gas. But this is what we're looking at right in here and I'll explain what's going on here. Obviously, the power is showing half right here. That means half power is cut to the motor, okay? And then you have the brake. This is not red, this is actually yellow. But it's telling you, it says, hey, brake, pull over, do what you need to do, service engine soon, and it disables the de uh, de uh, dynamic stability control. All right, so these are, I guess, the Christmas lights that people are talking about. All right, so let's go over here to the check controls. And we can see right here where it says DSC malfunction. All right, but let me let me get out of this right here. Okay, yes. Okay, here's another one, uh, uh, engine malfunction, engine's operating on reduced output. Okay, all right, drive with caution. So it says possible to continue, just drive with caution. Okay, let me, all right, whoops, entertainment, sorry about that, guys. All right. And info sources. Check control messages. Okay, so, uh, engine malfunction, reduced power, Increased emissions, this is another one that pops up. Kind of a little misleading because it really has nothing to do with emissions, but uh, DSC malfunction, DBC, I think that's, uh, I, I don't know, dynamic brake control. I don't know what D, DBC means, all right? The right brake lamp, that will clear. So start off assistance inactive. So, uh, you know, so we have a variety of things right here. And if we go down here, I have the codes brought up here on my BMW code reader, and this is what we got. So do you see where it says all bank two right there? Even though it's in German, it's telling me that my throttle actuator on bank two has gone bad. So not a big deal, I have the gears. Like I said, I didn't do it before because I wanted to do a little bit of read up on it. I didn't think it was gonna come back uh, you know, this, this fast like this, but I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but it did, and uh, it's time for me to fix it. So. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be doing a video on rebuilding the throttle actuators that I've never done before and people will just usually just take out the old ones and they put in the new ones. So I'm hoping that the gears fix it because it feels like that that's what's going on. The car is actually stuttering. Like, you know, so it sounds like obviously bank two is not getting, uh, you know, the proper air fuel mixture there uh, because the throttle actuator is uh, screwed up. So, but uh, let me just go back right here. Let me just hit read trouble code again. Yep, same thing. So, all right. And the last one, it's telling you, hey, the uh, uh, the program to for the reduced power is on, and uh, bank two, or whatever, whatever. Here's another thing of bank two, and then the, another motor program activated. So. All right, but there we go. That is what lip mode looks like. Uh, I would try to show you what it's like driving, but I really, 
uh, don't want to, I guess, get into it or, you know, or drive with the phone in my hand or something like that to show you because it's just really just not, you know, I'm already endangering people by driving 20 miles per hour on the road. But there we go, guys. Lip mode has been activated. Time for me to do something. I'm at 142,956 miles. Not bad, you know. I knew the throttle gears were going to go out eventually, and they have gone out. Uh, this is uh, a, a typical thing to have. Oh, I wanted to show you too also. Look at the RPM gauge. You see this right here? You see the car's warmed up. You can see it right here. So my thermostat fixed all that crap. But right here, you see how it tops out pretty much at like four and a half? And it should be down here, but it's not. So when it throws in lip mode, it does not go past this point. So, which is really, really cool. BMW has done a really good job of trying to protect a car when there's a failure, especially in this case. So there we go, guys. Comment on there, you know, you know, obviously we, we knew it was gonna happen. So, you know, keep the stupid comments at a minimum. Okay, shit, it's a car, it's a machine, stuff happens. Uh, 142,000 miles. I'm not paying uh, $800 for each actuator. I've got the gears, they are uh, $89 a piece. I'm going to rebuild it myself, so nothing to even worry about. But there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. I will keep you updated on the car, and I will try to do a, as detailed as possible because there's no videos out there of people rebuilding the throttle actuator. So, uh, you know, wish me good luck because it's going to be hell on wheels this weekend for me trying to fix that. Thankfully, I was able to get into that garage. Uh, he's already said he'll open it up for me. He's got two bays available. That way it'll shield me from the freezing, <laughs> shivering, tundra of a state here um, and uh, I'll get it up. Alright guys, thanks for watching.